Today I will show you how to make this digital damage editing style. Yo, it's Povikas here and welcome guys, I just have to announce that this Friday I am finally releasing my glitch presets pack. It has to be the most awaited presets pack I've ever had on my entire website and I've been working on it for the whole summer. So I 100% recommend to check it out when I release it on Friday. It will have like over 25 of those like crazy glitch presets which literally distort your own footage in real time which is absolutely amazing in my opinion. But anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from his Stardust music video and we're going to split this video into basically two parts. One will be making the whole digital damage look like the whole effect, you know, the one with you can like transition, you can have like as a color correction or whatever like a look and then we'll make my favorite part, the actual like 3D text which I think looks absolutely crazy. Alright, so we can press Control alt y to make a new adjustment layer and here the most important effect we have to add here, absolutely the most important effect, it's S digital damage. Now for this effect you do need this after plugin so for those of you who don't have the software plugin, I honestly don't even know how to make this effect without the software plugin, so very sorry for that. But if you do have the software plugin, then you need to go to here, and I like to make the intensity super high, like 15.65 or something like that. Like just let's just make it like super super high. You can make it even more honestly. And I like to make the time intensity to 11.260. So this will look kind of bad. Like this looks obviously that looks not good. So how do we fix that? Well, we go to damage size and we make it to 3.1 and the damage size rel x to 13.93. Okay, now we see absolutely nothing. What do we need now? Okay, so to make this whole like effect, you need to turn off the freeze, you need to turn off the shift, you need to turn off uh, this and this and this and this and only leave the brights noise. Yeah, so that is like super important. And look what you will instantly get. You will get this crazy like digital damage. Like, look, I don't know what to say like that. It just looks absolutely insane in my opinion. And you can like already have it like this and just be happy and done with that whole tutorial. Or I don't know if you want to have, if you want to do that. But let's just keep adding way more because I love this effect. So I'm going to add fast box blur and here let's make it to two why did i make it to two well because i like it to have a bit more damage and now we can call this layer damage and we can press ctrl y to make another new adjustment layer and here we're going to call it camcorder now i'm going to make also a camcorder look in the whole tutorial as well which will also have the digital damage effect which i think will look the best so let's add s digital damage here again on this like you know new layer but here we're going to make the intensity to 0 0.1 it's going to be very small and also time intensity let's make it to 11.26 damage size you know 0 0.5 and the damage size relax make it kind of similar to 0.561 maybe like just a little bit uh, you know lower and uncheck freeze this this uh, this this yeah you just have to uncheck and only leave the shift now why did i make that okay let's see what happens if i turn off the damage look the effect you will get like you will get these like little bars now the most fun part about this effect is you can make the intensity a bit higher so you can make it like this and you will get this crazy like camcorder glitch in my opinion. I don't know, like I think it's, you, you could call it like a camcorder glitch and it just looks really, really cool. So yeah, you can increase it. At the moment, I'll probably have it to like zero point. Maybe let's have it at 15 so just to get like that little bit of a glitch. But honestly, like, you know, 0 0.1 like works. And now I can add exposure to expose this a bit more because uh, we will darken it out a bit later. So we have to expose it at the start now. So here I like to make it to 1.5. And also let's add hue saturation, which will actually decrease the brightness a bit. I guess not the brightness, but the saturation. So I like to make it to minus 55 on the master saturation. And you will already get this look, which I think is really cool. And now I like to add fast box blur and make it to free on the blur radius. So to get the damage like a camcorder, but we also need to add unsharp mask to sharpen it out a bit. So I have to make the amount to 200 and the radius to four. So that looks pretty cool right now. And the last effect you can add here, which is kind of optional, it's this free plugin, which is absolutely a must have plugin in my opinion. It's NTCTRS. And now this plugin gives you this look instantly, like it looks almost like a camcorder, like just like that, which is amazing. But truly, the only really thing I like to do here is I like to go to chroma face error and I like to make it to 96 to give that like different little color. And also like, as you see, like it just damages the look a bit more like this whole like effect. But I like to also go here and I like to just disable the head switching, tracking noise and the ringing. So yeah, and I think that will look amazing. Now there are some things you can do here. If you want to make it a bit more camcordery, you can 
make the sharpen a bit higher like this or you can make the horizontal scale a bit higher like this so yeah two things you can do if you want to improve this a bit more like to make it even more camcorderish like more signally i guess oh yeah let's turn back on the damage by the way i completely forgot and yeah you will have this insane look actually mind-blowingly cool effect you know mind-blowing cool style look i don't know however you want to call it just so cool in my opinion yeah so just to have it like this but now we can go and make the whole text so for the text i like to go below camcorder on top of damage so press on it i like to go to the t tool and let's just press on it here and here we can type whatever you want so i'm going to type damage and you can choose the font called Arial and make it to black. But I like to add a font called Clear Expanded. And it's actually a downloadable font. So you can go and download it. And I'm just going to press Align. And I will just align it to the middle. And the thing you will have to do now is right click. Uh, press new press solid and here we need to press ok and here we need to add a plugin called element now this is also a paid plugin which costs like 200 dollars i think but if you actually have this plugin then you really should try out this like whole text so here let's go to custom layers and let's go to custom text and mask i like to go to path layer one and honestly we just have to make it to damage you know the fourth layer of the text wait no that was not the layer of the text wait no 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 the text layer is third i'm sorry yeah we call this damage, okay, that, maybe let's just call this damage, yeah, okay, that is very confusing. Okay, and now let's go to scene setup, okay, very sorry for that. Okay, let's go to extrude here, and let's go to presets, physical, and I like to go to chrome, I just like to drag any of these, like, honestly, you can pick whatever you want, you can go to bevels and pick whatever you want, but I like chrome the most. I also use this in a lot of my thumbnails, so if anyone has ever been wondering how I make my thumbnails, I like to use chrome, so yeah, I like to do that. And let's go make the bow scale, maybe like four, like scale it out a bit more, you know, go to extrusion model, here I go to chrome, and I actually like to make the expand edges like minus 0 0.64, just to make it more visible like that. And let's make the bow size a bit higher, maybe like 0 0.86, something like that. And let's make the bow depth like 1.96, yeah, like that. Oh yeah, and another thing we have to do is make the extrude to 1.8, and yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's press OK now. And here we should turn off this damage and just leave the solid layer. And let's go to group one now, particle look. And here let's make the particle size like higher. You know, let's just make it a little higher. You know, I don't know, just whatever. Maybe uh, like this. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Like maybe 15, uh, it doesn't matter. The particle rotation. You can make this whatever you want, by the way. Uh, I like to make the particle rotation like minus 24, maybe something like that. Like just pop it out like that. And I also like to go to the form, bend. And I like to enable it and make the bend angle to 61 maybe. And the bend direction to 97 it will bend out like this looks pretty cool okay yeah that looks pretty cool yeah and another thing i like to do is i like to go to render settings and here let's go to physical environment and rotate environment and let's just play around with the environment so i'm just gonna try like maybe 350 on dx the environment will basically change the color like you know the whole whites it's like the high whites going around so i like to change it here and let's try the y rotation to like 129 and this to minus 129 i kind of like to do like that and now we need to add the effect as digital damage finally and here we need to make the intensity to 1.26 i like to make the time intensity 1.72 and i like to keep every setting on like literally but you can obviously like mess around here a lot and here we can also add deep glow too and i like to make the exposure to 0.3 now some things you can do is you can press s and scale this up a bit like this and also check this point and make it go up like this yeah so i think that makes it look the coolest and yeah have it like this i don't know I have it like that yeah that looks really cool to make it for your text and just look how crazy this text will look like this little title card i don't know like a textile card just absolutely mind-blowingly cool i don't know what you guys think about it like let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole like damage style oh yeah another thing we can do is press ctrl y on top of everything and add motion tile yeah, yeah. and add the output width to 75 yeah i think this now will look actually insane well yeah when i made this I, I made this in like a lot of time i feel like i spent like over two hours making this because i really wanted to find like the coolest way to make like a cool tile card but then i just kind of came up with this whole like little style and i wanted to share it with you guys as fast as i could you know because i thought this looked absolutely crazy just look how crazy the little glitches look like but yeah guys that is pretty much it for the tutorial if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya